Okay, so everyone know that I recently got the Ruby Kisses Matte Lip Lacquers. You guys have been wanting a video with lip swatches, which I am going to provide, but I want to do a review, a rapid review, really, really quick before I start the lip swatches. I really don't want this video to be extra long, and it's like 14 shades to swatch, so that's why I say rapid review. I do have a blog post that I already wrote about these already if you want to see closer pics or read everything that the site say that they do and what how I feel about them basically the pros are you get 14 shades they're only $3.99 um, they are matte um, you get a wide variety of colors um, and they're really pigmented and good products the bad news is they just don't do what they say that they're going to do. Um, they claim to be matte, so we were all hyped thinking they were going to be like Lime Crime Velveteen, Sephora Lip Stains, um, the new LA Splash matte, you know, the dry matte, kind of like what I'm wearing right now. But they are a wet matte, a creamy matte. And so what we love in matte lipsticks is the fact that they don't stain, that they don't budge, they don't smudge, they don't move, they stain, they last all day, and you're not going to get that with these. I mean, you're going to have to reapply because they do move. They don't really dry down to a matte, matte finish, and so, yeah, this, this is not my type of matte. You guys know I love matte that's not going to transfer because I wear long hair, and I like for when the wind blows to my hair not to get caught on my lips, so that's why I'm not a gloss type girl, but yeah, um... I don't know they do have a slight scent to them also so yeah basically that's my whole review if you're looking for a dry matte like this that's not going to transfer sort of like the Anastasia and it, the whole liquid lipstick phase that's going on right now you're not going to get that in these but they are awesome and they are good products for the four dollars that you're going to spend i will leave my blog post below along with the links to where you can purchase these below they are not quite out yet um I saw on Instagram where you can get them from certain sites, but I was sent mine, so I don't know about that. Okay, so this is the easiest way for me to describe these. If you guys remember the lip lacquers right here, that's exactly what these are. Let me turn the light down. The lip lacquers right here, that's exactly what the new products are, just a matte version of them. And you got a little bit more product, and these look like it. No, they're the same. So basically what you're getting in this product is the matte version of these right here. This is the original lip lacquers that we all went crazy over at one point in time. And so this is just the matte version of them, okay? So how I would describe these is a mixture between these and their matte lipstick. But I love their matte lipstick better than the matte lip lacquers if that makes sense these lipsticks are bum i was sent these also and never got a chance to give you guys a video because by the time i got around to it it was like videos all over yt so i didn't feel the need for it but yeah that's what this is right here a mixture between this matte lipstick and this lip lacquer so if you want a gloss you might as well just stay with these if you want a matte lipstick you might as well stick with these because those are just a liquid form of these and they don't even last um as long as these do so let's get to the swatch okay so let's get into the lip swatches first we have cream which is a very muted baby no powder pink and no and you guys know when i do my lip swatches i don't do liners so you guys can get the full look of the product so that's why my lips look like this next we have think pink which is a pretty pink shade. This line had a lot of pink shades in it. I was like, womp, womp. But anyway, this is Think Pink. Next, we have Mirage, which is another shade of pink. Has a little bit more of a mauve tone to it. This will be super wearable with a brown lip liner. Next, we have Narcissism very pretty coral color I like this color but as you can see they're not really matte and you know they're not giving you the look that we all thought they would this is Fiesta right here another pink I like Fiesta also as far as pigmentation so we're moving on to Crush finally out of the pink family and I like Crush. It's a very pretty vibrant orange. But as you can see, it is not matte. Oh my gosh. 
I'm not gonna even talk right here. <laughs> yeah, this yellow is patchy, it's not pigmented, it's a horrible hot mess. Hate it. And here's another disappointment, Wonderland. This will be cut cute, I'm sorry. Umbre with a darker liner or something, but by itself. No, no, no. So finally something wearable. We have Ruby, which is just a matte red. But you guys can see it is not the color that the tube is. So be careful looking at the tube to match colors. Next we have Rosie. I like this one also, but it's not giving me life. Not really. But it's cute. Okay, so here's Queen. It's a purple. It's okay. Not the color of the tube, though. Insecure. Mm -mm -mm. This is a gray. I guess it'll be good to mix with something. Now, surprisingly, I liked Pool Party, which is this turquoise. I'm not into blue lips like that, but after all those many disappointments, <laughs> I really, really like this shade. And then Bellagio, which was my biggest disappointment. I thought it was going to be like, boom. It's not even matte. It has shimmer in it. And it's see-through, not pigmented at all. So as you guys can see, I only like two to three shades. Let me know what you guys think about these. And if you guys would like to know what horrible foundation I am wearing that's making me look super oily, thumbs up this video. I will leave my blog post below along with the site where you can purchase these. Thanks for watching. Bye.